Alright, what's going on? It's your boy Tyler Quash 906 here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys two crazy glitches. The first one is gonna allow you guys to pretty much have God mode every single time you guys fight a boss, like this, uh, pretty much end game Anumis boss. He can attack me, but I can attack him, and I can even go ahead and capture him if I wanted to, just like that. And the second glitch will allow you guys to pretty much go underneath the map for a dungeon or underground boss, and pretty much go ahead and deal a ton of damage with uh, to him with your pal. Um, so getting on to the video, these are going to help you guys pretty much get a lot of XP, capture boss pals, and pretty much progress the game in a really, really fast way. Alright, so starting off with the first glitch, what you guys want to do is go ahead and head on over to the um, Anubis boss location, which is in the desert right here. Um, and if you, I don't really have an image on it for the where it is on the map, but you guys can easily go ahead and search it up for yourself if you don't know where it is. And so what you guys want to do is go ahead and place a pal box near that area just like i do and also place a viewing cage as close as you guys can to that anubis statue and the closer it is pretty much the easier it's going to be because that is where the anubis boss is going to spawn all right so once you guys have gone ahead and done that you're ready to start the next part of the glitch after you guys go ahead and build that viewing cage so after that what you guys want to do is make sure that anubis um kind of spawns near that cage and if he's not there, because for me, he, uh, while I was building all my, my base and everything, he kind of wandered off back here. Um, so what you guys can actually do is go ahead and exit to the title screen and come back. And what that's going to do is pretty much make him spawn right at the bottom of the statue where the chest is. All right, guys, so there's two ways you can do it now. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is pretty much you're going to do you're going to do the glitch and then get his aggro. Or the second way is you can get his aggro first and then do the glitch. So all you guys want to do is pretty much throw your uh, flying pallet into the viewing cage and then mount it. And if you guys go ahead and look down while you throw it, it's pretty much going to be guaranteed to get inside the cage and pretty much get his aggro by shooting him with a ranged attack. And now you guys won't be able to dismount your pal. So all you guys need to do is open up your inventory, go to pals, and then drop your pal that you're flying on. And you guys should be able to walk around normally and attack the boss with your sword. Um, I'm pretty sure weapons like guns don't actually work. So it's going to have to be a melee weapon and the sword is the best one. And so when you guys get him really, really low like this, you guys won't be able to throw a sphere like that. To actually capture this boss in my testing is that you guys are actually going to have to just go ahead and use a homing uh, sphere launcher or you guys can just go ahead and kill him for the XP and materials and everything like that um, And if you guys are wondering how you guys get out of this pretty much open up your build menu and just dismantle the viewing cage And you guys should be fine to move around the map again All right, so now for the next glitch where it's gonna be an underground boss or a dungeon boss Go ahead and find the dungeon room if it's a really big uh, dungeon or if it's like a small dungeon like this Go ahead and make sure the boss is not aggroed on yet first um, go ahead and go up to the wall and do the same glitch pretty much which is you throw your flying pal into the wall and, and quickly mount him and you guys should be um, out of the map pretty much or under the map. Now go ahead and find a spot where you guys can stand um, where the boss is pretty much standing on on the platform and go ahead and try to attack him so you guys can either use a ranged attack on your flying mount um, and that's pretty much going to be the only way for him to aggro onto you and after you guys have done that go ahead and pretty much dismount yourself from your mount by just using the normal button which is usually f on pc um, and if it's a really big boss what's going to happen is that boss is going to try to melee you if it has melee attacks and you guys will be able to hit it with your sword but unfortunately this boss wasn't big enough for me to um, hit it through the wall and like clip through the wall so what you guys are going to have to do is go ahead and throw your pal into the um, map again just like that and then it's going to be able to attack it normally and pretty much take it out uh, pretty easily if you guys have a strong pal. And what's really nice about this glitch is that you guys won't get attacked from the boss. Um, and as long as you guys have a really good pal that can pretty much take out the boss, you guys are going to have no trouble at all uh, killing it, getting the XP, and even uh, getting the materials, which I'll show you guys in a second. So if you guys want to go back into the uh, like dungeon or boss room or, or whatever, go ahead and throw your pal um, pretty much on the wall outside of the map and it should go inside like halfway and you guys should dismount and be inside of the map again and you guys can collect all of the loot that the boss dropped and even exit back into the normal map again all right and so you guys this is the end of the video if you guys enjoyed make sure to drop a like and i will see you all in the next one peace